If you ever wondered what's inside one of these door latches, in this video we're going to check it out. This one's all locked up and seized. The latch should move like this one. So we'll take the broken one apart so we can see what's in there. We'll put some motor oil in there just to see if this loosens everything up. Every part of this mechanism is stiff. This portion should move fully up and down. With enough pressure, it does. This allows the mechanism to be used for different sized doors. Before I pull this mechanism apart, I'll drop it in some oil. I want to make sure it's not a lubrication problem. Well, it's not a lubrication problem. We'll go ahead and start opening this thing up. We'll lift this slide plate up. This allows the mechanism to change dimension. The doorknob needs to go back. This whole mechanism can slide back. Inside, there's a whole lot of pieces that have got to work together. These two discs here work together, but they'll move independently without that outer plate on. Well, we'll go a little deeper. With a pair of pliers, we'll ease these metal ears back. There's not a lot of leverage here, so you just have to keep pulling on them. There we go, I'm starting to see it move now. With this plate off, you'll be able to see a lot more of the mechanism. These retain those two rings. The square portion is connected to the doorknob, and both of them can pop out of here. Here's the slide plate that moves back and forth to change the dimension of the knob and it can just pull out of here now. Now we can move to the front of the mechanism. This black plate can be pried off now. Now we can start to remove some of these latches. This one comes out a little bit too easy. The back portion of it is broken off. Now we know what locked up this mechanism. We can go ahead and pull the spring out and some of the retaining mechanisms. You can see there's a lot of moving parts in here. Now with the broken parts out, it moves. Now you do have to keep everything lined up to keep it moving. You can see it's pretty complicated in here. You can see if just one piece doesn't work the way it should, it's gonna lock up. Here's a couple angles of that latch moving back and forth. Here's looking from the back of the mechanism. With the latch broken, this lock will not lock again but I might be able to put everything back together and just use the doorknob as a latch. If you ever wondered what was inside a doorknob latch, well, now you know. Well, I appreciate your time and thanks for watching.